it's Donna Braves, and today is Think About It Thursday. Yay! Today's Think About It Thursday is going to be about sharing information. Should you share or should you keep it to yourself? Now, believe it or not, you know I'm always sharing information. If I find out something about anything, I share it with you, my viewers, my followers, my friends, and people I don't even know. I received a lot of backlash about doing that. Now, they're saying, a lot of people are saying, I should monetize my information. Sure, we will monetize the information. Yes, I will eventually monetize my information. But my thing is, I believe in giving back. That's my thing. If I have information, I would rather share the information, and then you can either take the information or not take the information. The choice is yours. But I don't think it's right or fair or making every day a great day for not just myself, but you too. So if I have a great day, I find out something, why wouldn't I share it with you? So the question of the day, which is also, think about it Thursday, if you have information that could change people's lives, would you share it or keep it to yourself? Now, I was looking at some articles and just curious to see what most people think and most people think that if they share the information that it's hurting them in some way that's what i read it's hurting them in some way fear of someone else becoming more wealthier than them and another thing too you guys got to realize a lot of people who have money i want you to listen to this like to hover it over other people who don't have money they like to do that i was never one of those type of people I don't like that. I don't think it's cool. But you will find that. You will find people who have money. They like to throw it in other people's faces. That's not cool to me. Um, so that's the primary reason why they'll hold back the information. They will get wealthy or they will know something and they benefited from it. But they won't tell you how they did it. Now, I'm not expecting to hold anyone's hand or... You know, some people say, well, I don't want to share the information because they're not going to listen or they're not going to, they're not going to actually do anything about it. My thing is, I give you the information, you don't do anything about it, that's on you. But like I said in a previous video, when I'm on a cover of Forbes, me and my whole entire team, because I believe in spreading the wealth. That's another thing. And a lot of people don't believe in that. Because they're afraid or they don't want anyone to be more powerful than them. Like my team that I have currently, I, not only me, but my team will be on the cover of Forbes magazine. The wealthiest company and team. So I've never seen that on the cover of Forbes before. So I will be a multi-billionaire. Just me, everyone on the team will be a multi-billionaire. That's my goal and this is a video, which I don't know what today's date is. But whatever today's date is, mark it on the calendar because that's what I put in the universe. So that's what's going to happen. So it'll be not just me on the cover of Forbes. My team will be on the cover of Forbes. Because I believe that I should not be the only billionaire in my company. Because usually it starts at the top, right? The person owns the company. They have all the money. And then they have like, I don't know, minions or whatever they want to call them. And they don't have anything. You see that all the time. I don't believe that concept. Um, I never did. And I noticed a lot of people who grew up who didn't have anything, they think that way. Hey, I'm going to have all the money and I'm just going to throw it in people's faces and then make them feel less than or beneath you or... See, I never thought about it like that. I just... I think that if you have a team that's bringing something to the table and they're executing and they're taking you to another level, they should share in the profit. That's just how I think. I mean, I just don't believe in, oh, one person is the billionaire and everybody else is like, oh, you're making a couple of hundred thousand dollars a year. No, because if it wasn't for the team, I would not be on the cover of Forbes magazine. Not inside, the cover. The cover of Forbes. I'm putting it in the universe. Cover of Forbes, not just me, my team. Team billionaires, whatever. That's what it's going to be called. I can see it. I have a white suit on. 
you know, whatever. My legs crossed, my team around me, and all of us are billionaires, not just me, everyone. That's why I have no problem with sharing the information that I have. I share it, I, you know, if I find out something, I share it. I'm not like, oh my God, let me just hurry up and get rich by myself. I'm like, why can't, it's plenty of money for everyone. We have trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars and it's money for everyone. That's why I share their information. That's why, and yes, I will be monetizing information, but I'm giving you guys information for free now. Like I said, go to my website, makeeverydayagreatday.com, put in your email address, you get the newsletter, and when I do have my webinars, you'll be more than happy to pay for it because you know you're going to get great information. You're like, well, shucks, if she's giving this information away for free, what do I have to get to when it's paid for? I'm going to get way more information. And you're right, you'll get way more information when I do have my paid webinars. So the question of the day, which is Think About It Thursday, is if you have information, do you hoard it to yourself because of the fear of someone else becoming wealthier than you, or having more than you, or do you share it? And if you don't share it, be honest with yourself. What's the reason why? Is it conditioning? Is it because you... You know, you're not used to people sharing or what is the fear there? Be honest with yourself now. Why wouldn't you share it if you have it? Why? I love you guys. Make every day a great day. And remember, each one, teach one. I would rather teach you to fish than give you a fish. Whether you take the fish or not, or you learn the lessons of fishing, that's on you. So, like I said, when I'm going to cover Forbes magazine is the wealthiest billionaire in the world, one of, because my team will be one too, you can't sit there and say, you know what, I had, I followed her on social media, and you know what, she's a multi-billionaire right now, and she never, ever, you know, helped anybody else get wealthy. You won't be able to say that about me. Because I'm not selfish. I love you guys. Go to makeeverydayagreatday.com. And remember, the question of the day slash think about it Thursday is, do you help other people? If you have information, do you spread the knowledge or keep it to yourself? Be honest. Love you. I'll see you tomorrow on Finance Friday. Bye.